guys, it's Vaughn, and I'm going to be delivering my favorites to you guys today, which I'm really excited about. And then also I'm going to be sharing with you guys an event that's going to be coming up that I am way past overdue in telling you guys about. But I want to take this opportunity to fill you guys in. It's an event in New Orleans, Louisiana. So it's called the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo. Tickets are available for this event at NewOrleansNaturalHairExpo.com. Or you guys can go directly to Eventbrite, which is www.NewOrleansNaturalHairExpo.Eventbrite.com. And it's happening the weekend of July 4th. It's actually July 5th and 6th. The 5th is the actual expo, and then the 6th is a wrap-up brunch the morning after. It's actually the same weekend as Essence Fest, which is awesome because if you plan on coming to Essence, you may as well drop by the expo. Or if you're coming for the expo, you may as well participate in some of the Essence events as well. So it's going to be a really fun fun and popping weekend. I myself am going to be there. I'm going to be speaking on a panel, also attending the expo and the brunch on Sunday the 6th. And I'm really looking forward to the brunch um, that's going to be happening on Sunday. It's going to include a Q&A session with the special guests and it's just going to be really fun. I heard the food is going to be phenomenal and I'm really looking forward to the shrimp and grits. Unfortunately, the brunch is sold out, but the expo tickets are still available. So hurry before that one sells out too. There are three major sponsors. Coils by Nature, Tendrils and Coils, and Cantu Beauty. So these major sponsors are going to be having pop-up suites at the event. These really looks grand suite spaces where they're going to be doing giveaways, they're going to be pop-up shops, and they're going to be giving out samples. So it's really going to be pretty awesome to be able to come to the expo shop, get some hair education, and then also uh, get some of these freebies in the suites. There are going to be many workshops happening during the event. There's going to be many sessions including Natural Hair Care 101, Protective Styling, How to Choose the Right Products, Understanding Your Hair Type, and there's going to be Natural Hair Demonstrations, and of course I'm going to be on the panel. There are different levels of tickets that you can purchase. Some are going to come with a gift bag, others are going to come with uh, complimentary eats and different things like that. So make sure you guys check out the different levels of tickets and pick the one that's right for you. So hopefully I will see you guys there. And uh, I'm excited. So now let's get into the favorites. I first start off by telling you guys about my look today. My hair is a twist out on blow dried hair using the TGIN Curl Defining products. I am also wearing this headband that I got from the World Natural Hair Show. I can't think of who the vendor was, but it's just a sequence headband. It's got a ribbon that goes around the head and you just kind of tie it. Really cute. Um, this shirt I got from Forever 21 a couple years ago, same with the tank top. Also my bracelet I got from the World Natural Hair Show as well. What I love about it is that it has the Egyptian figure kind of engraved on the, on the front of it that's so cute to me. And my nail polish that I'm wearing is actually a color that I got from Superdrug when I was in London um, a couple weeks ago. It's Berry M and it's called Sugar Apple. Looks like that. It's actually chipping off a little bit right now because I've had it on for about a week, but it did last for a really long time. On my lips, I'm actually wearing a red lipstick that I just recently obtained, and I'm really excited about this lipstick because it's by Fashion Fair. For you guys who are not aware, Fashion Fair is making a huge comeback. They were one of the first, if not the first, beauty brand for African American women. I just recently was invited to um, a product introduction for the Spring Line here in Chicago. They invited me out to the corporate offices and I came there, it was me and about maybe a handful of other bloggers and vloggers and they presented to us the Spring Line. And there's a lot of cool stuff that they're coming out with and I was able to get my hands on some of the stuff. The lipstick is called Seduction and this is the cute new packaging. It's really, really sexy and mature. I love it. And then this is what the lipstick looks like on the inside. Very, very beautiful red. I also got two eyeshadows from the new Spring line. One of them I'm actually wearing today, and you probably can't even tell I'm wearing any eyeshadow because of the light. But even without the light, this is a very subtle color. It has a semi-frosty finish, but it's still very, very subtle. It looks so good on brown skin, and it just looks like I have on just like a lid wash. It adds just the right amount of um, sheen and and color so that my eyes don't look just like flat but sometimes when you want to go for that neutral look and you don't want so much glitter so much color I would recommend a color like this so this one is actually called Tahiti this is what it looks like in the packaging the next color I have is called Sedona this is a little bit darker of a color it's got a little bit of uh, shimmer to it just a little bit it's perfect for a smoky eye look it's got some purples in it some bronze this is an amazing color I do hope to um, obtain some more um, Fashion Fair products. I haven't really used it in the past and I feel like I feel as though I had been missing out. These products are amazing and they go so well on dark skin. It's just like the perfect colors, the perfect blending, very high quality, amazing. Next for makeup, I'm going to show you guys some makeup that I did get when I was in London, when I was at Superdrug getting the fingernail polish. I also wanted to get some sleek makeup because I heard so much about it here on YouTube and I wanted to try some of the bronzer and some of the blush. 
So I got actually two. I got the Face Contour Kit and the, bl the Blush BY3 palette. And they came in packages that look like this. So this is what um, the uh, contour palette looks like. Very, very sleek <laughs> um, and cute. There's a mirror um, here where you can check your makeup and stuff. This is the matte bronzer. I got a medium, and this is the highlighter that comes with it. I must say this is a lovely combo kit. I'm actually wearing the bronzer right now, and I've used some of the um, highlighter to highlight like not only my cheekbones, but my chin, my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. So it works so well. Very good quality to be very inexpensive and affordable. Next is my uh, blush palette that I got. Looks like this, a little bit bigger than um, the contour kit. This one comes with three colors, Turbinado, Muscovado, and Demerara. Um, pretty sure I'm not pronouncing those right, but yeah. It's a mixture between shimmery and matte colors. The one in the middle, I think, is the shimmer. That's what those colors look like. I'm actually wearing the one in the middle um, on my the apples of my cheeks. Love, love, love these two palettes. I feel so lucky to have been able to get them. So another one of my favorites, if you guys didn't notice this shelving unit behind me, I actually got this from Ikea. Um, I had to assemble it myself and it was very easy actually. And I got this because I needed to store all of my hair products as you can see here. I've just been organizing them into categories by brand. It's been so much easier and I can reach for the things that I really need the most. Don't judge me, I am a vlogger so I do get a lot of hair products all the time. So rather than throw them out, I just store them here. That way they can be organized and then if someone wants to borrow something or some, if I want to give some products to someone, I know where to go and get them versus having them in a, in a box on my closet floor. Next, we're going to move right into fashion. I have two pairs of sneakers that I want to show you guys. I've been wearing a lot of sneakers lately as we transition into the warm weather here in Chicago. Um, I got from Forever 21. They are faux leather. I love that it has the white soles. They're actually not white. It's like a creamy color. But I really love these. I caught these on sale. They were only $10. I love the high top of the sneaker and um, it just looks really girly even though they're sneakers. Next for sneakers um, are these pair of Jordans. These are the retro Jordan 6s I just got. I actually got them a day early from when they came out. You can kind of you can kind of do that in Chicago. You can get Jordans like a couple days before they come out because a lot of the resellers of Jordans, they're just trying to get an extra buck and so they'll sell them to you early for extra. So I think um, I paid like $200 for these. But um, I love the colors. I love how sporty they look. And then before I move into the other fashion items, I wanted to just show you guys this headband that I got from Urban Outfitters. I wore this while I was in London for the Woman in the Jungle natural hair event that I uh, went to and I hosted a workshop. And I wore this headband. It's so cute. It's like that bohemian look. This headband uh, is like a matte gold and it has like some detail. Very, very, very cute. I like that it has the elastic band. The downfall to this type of uh, headband is that it will snag your hair. You have to be extremely careful. You almost have to have like someone help you put this on and take it off because you will snag your hair. And I learned the hard way when I tried it on the first time, but after that I was fine. But I'm just warning you guys, if you do get a headband like this, be careful. It's kind of like the style of the one I'm wearing here. It's very bohemian, um, uh, uh, kind of rustic and, and hippie. But I love it, love it. It looks so good with so many different things. It looks really good with floral prints and really flowy chiffon materials. But you just wear it right around your hair. You can choose to put it on top of your hair or you can choose to put it underneath and let your hair fall over the top of it. Um, either way, it's going to turn out to be really, really nice. So I got this from Urban Outfitters and it was about um, $24. I've been in love with it ever since. Speaking of Urban Outfitters, I also got this other really cool shawl thing that I think goes so well with the headband that I showed you guys. It's very bohemi. And it's floral. It looks like this. I'm going to set it so I can show you guys. It's uh, it's like almost floor length, but I would say like ankle or calf length. It comes all the way down. It actually gets longer in the back and it's a little bit shorter in the front. I love the bell sleeves. They're kind of bat winged a little bit here. And it just wears so well. Very, very flowy. Wonderfully made. See-through. Looks beautiful with jeans or um, some cut-off shorts or anything really. And you can also double this as a, um, a cover-up for the beach. I could see myself wearing this on the beach with my bathing suit. I paid too much for this thing, I will admit. It was $75 at Urban Outfitters. Um, and my little sister was like, you should have known better. We don't buy things for Urban Outfitters unless they're on the sales rack or clearance rack. So I know, but I couldn't resist. I had to have it. There was no way I was gonna find one of this good of quality um, unless I had paid a little bit of money for it. This is a little, Thin jacket-ish, cardigan-ish 
situation that I got from CN Direct, which is another website like uh, Dresslink, the cartoon comic um, decoration and detail on there. Love the fact that it has this trim, this black stretchy trim. It's so much fun. It's very thin, so you can get away with wearing this in the summer. I can see myself wearing this with some cutoff shorts, some skinny jeans, some stretch pants, um, some sneakers, anything like that. You can add your lip color to match one of the colors in the jacket. It's just so much fun. This thing was maybe like $7. It was very cheap. Next, from the same website, I got this sequence tank top, which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I haven't worn it yet at all, but it's so much fun. It's very sheer on the back side, and then the front is sheer but covered with sequins. Actually, this is an extra large um, because it's Asian sizes, so it's a lot smaller. So I would definitely recommend um, going a couple sizes up when it comes to the Asian sizes. And make sure that when you order from a website like this that you are checking the measurements. That's what's most important. Don't pay attention to the size category. Look at the measurements because they will give you the measurements so that you know they're not going to fit you. Next for my CN Direct purchase was this blazer that fits so beautifully. I love the way it's so tapered. I didn't expect this to be an awesome fit, but it really is good quality. It's actually kind of heavy, so this is not going to be good for summer. But for the rest of spring, while it's still a little bit cool, and um, as we go into the fall, this will be perfect. This is a size medium, and it fits me perfectly, and I'm in love with it. I think it's so cute. I can wear this to work. I can wear this out with my friends. This is pretty awesome. And lastly is this skirt that I got from Forever 21. It was on sale. I actually bought it when I bought those uh, faux leather sneakers. And here is the look of the skirt. It's like um, that stretchy spandex material. And it's got tigers and leopard print at the bottom. Super, super cute. Um, there are a million ways that this skirt can be worn. But the thing I'm seeing right away is metallic gold accessories. Um, maybe like a chiffon nude kind of uh, shirt button up. You could even wear this with just a cami if it's nice and, and warm outside. Um, definitely I would wear this with some flats. I would hate to wear this with any um, heels unless they were like a simple black basic strappy sandal. Basic, I mean just like two straps, one across the toe and one across the ankle, something like that. But this skirt just speaks such volumes and if you have a little bit of a curvy shape, it's going to speak even louder. So you don't want to overdo this with um, a lot of action happening. You want to just tone everything else down and let the skirt be your statement piece. So I love this skirt. I only paid like $10 for it, so it was a good buy. And speaking of good buy, that's it for my favorites. I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye!